Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, it's your boy Sam, Contagious Collection, back with another video game pickups video. Um, I just want to say before I get started, thank you very much for all the support I've been getting. Uh, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I really do, guys. Um, you guys have been showing a tremendous amount of love and all the comment I've, comments I've been getting and uh, the, all the support and feedback. You guys are just awesome, man. Uh, and before I get started with the pickups and show what I got, guys, I want to give a couple of a few shout outs to a few YouTubers. First and foremost, uh, my good friend Steve, Steve Craig, Retro Games, um, War Train Wins, and uh, also Zero, capital Z E R O, space in between each letters. Uh, go and check those channels out. Uh, just gonna get right into it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, so let's get started, guys. First off, I'm going to show is uh, my eBay pickups. Um, I got about five games, and uh, they're all PlayStation related and uh, Japanese import games, which I recently really, really am getting into, and I got a lot of. So uh, first, uh, I'm going to start off with these two games, which are really cool. I uh, got these both from the same seller. Um... He had them, I think, for like nine or ten a piece. So I offered seven uh, a piece for both. So I got both of them for fourteen bucks. Um, and these are Toriko Gourmet Survival One and Two. They are both complete. Uh, pretty interesting games. Basically, you run around and uh, you know do certain things. You have to collect certain items. Um, and, and, uh, basically you beat up enemies. It's like an action RPG kind of game where you can tell, like when you start, um, fighting the enemies, they have like those life bars on them. And, you, uh, I, it seems like you do level up. I didn't play too much of it. I did play all uh, part one a little bit, but, uh, it seems like a really fun game and I, I am enjoying playing it. So pretty cool stuff. Um, got these two. So these are, uh, Toriko Gourmet Survival 1 and 2, part 1 and 2. For the PSP. Let's put those there. Uh, next game I picked up, which I have part one of, is uh, Bleach Soul Carnival 2. And um, this one is sealed, which the seller had it listed as, as good. But in the title it said also where it's never been opened. Yeah, and it's still sealed. Why fold? Um... So I have part one, now I got part two, which I've been looking out for quite a while. Again, an absolutely badass game, side-scrolling, uh, action platformer, beat-em-up style, which these type of games I really love. Um, and I got that as, uh, uh, for seven bucks as well, brand new sealed. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, more great uh, PSP games to the collection, Japanese stuff, love that stuff. Uh, next thing I'm going to show is a, a PS1 game, uh, which is, um, let me see, uh, it, it's a Mystical Ninja game, and as far as I know, uh, only there was the Super Nintendo version that we got in the States, and I think a couple games on the N64, I don't know if there was any other ones, as far as I know, um, but yeah, this is a, a PS1 uh, Gambare Goemon Uchu Kaizoku Ako Ginju or Gingu, something like that. Uh, got that for eight bucks. And uh, as far as I know, I did do a lot of research. This character and that character right there are only seen in this game only. So um, that's that's a pretty cool uh, fact to know about. Very fun again. Um, you go like the regular way of of the Mystical Ninja where you start off. And then it turns into a side-scrolling platformer action game. Um, I did play it quite a bit. And it is just so much fun. Uh, so much color, great graphics, all that good stuff, man. I, I just love that stuff. And uh, uh, got that for only 8 bucks. So I am really uh, excited that I have a, a Japanese PS2, and I encourage anyone else, if you guys have a way, get it and play these imports, man. Get these import games. As far as the PSP stuff goes, it's region-free, guys. For those of you who don't know, uh, you could play Japanese uh, games on a, a 
American or US, you know, uh, PSP. So that's that's a really cool uh, thing to know as well. If you guys didn't know about that, so yeah, you could do that. But as far as like PS One and PS Two go, you gotta have like a tester system or a, or actual Japanese, you know, just to play them. It's it's worth it. I I really like that. And uh, last, as far as for the um, uh, eBay packages go, I uh, picked this one up for the PS Two Melty Blood Act Cadenza. Um, it is a very cool, very fun, uh, you know, versus fighter, like a street fighter style, uh, one-on-one -on -one fighter, uh, very cool. And, uh, as far as like the characters go, I thought it was going to be like a, a fe all female. It is majority female characters. I think there's about like three or four male characters. Um, but it's, it's such a fun fighter, man. Really cool fighter. Uh, I enjoyed it quite a bit. I played it quite a bit. Um, it does get, you know, kind of uh, challenging as far as, like, you know, when you progress into the game. Of course, as any games go, I do like a challenge. But a uh, very fun one. Another great fighter. Uh, Melty Blood Act Cadenza. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, now before I get into the uh, flea market pickups, I want to show a few more of the uh, custom controllers that I've been working on and uh, that I told you guys that I am going to. And you guys, a lot of you loved it. So there's more and there's more going to be coming. I'm going to work on a lot more. Um, I'm going to start off with um, this one. It pretty much is finished up. I just got to put it back together. This one is going to be a Battle, te battle Toads theme. So I did a... Flame orange, metallic orange paint with emerald green. The button start select are like a light brown. And uh, the, the B and A buttons are, uh, again, fire orange and emerald green. And the back, I also did a uh, emerald green, which came out absolutely amazing. I love these, you know, the colors, and it just pops out so great. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot more and I'm going to add on to the collection of my custom controllers. Uh, next one is going to be, uh, again, it came out really great, man. Just look at that. The, the colors just, just so cool. Uh, metallic paint again. And I like that shine into it. So this one I did, uh, this color is a deja blue. And uh, this is going to be, these, this one is gold, the blue with the buttons again, um, start select and the B and the A. Or gold and blue again. And the back I did a gold as well. Um, so still waiting on the overlay sticker on that one and this one. So after I'm done with it, it's really going to pop out. And it's really going to show out like really well. So yeah, man. So that's going to be uh, basically Zelda 2 uh, themed. Uh, with uh, It's going to be a Lynx. I think it's called Lynx Adventure. Yeah, something like that. So basically Zelda 2 for the NES theme is going to be that. That's going to be Battletoads. Um, this one is going to be, is actually, uh, pretty much overall done. Love the colors. I did a slime green with red. So this is obviously Castlevania. Uh, Simon Belmont with the whip. Um, this is like a slime green and uh, metallic red with the brown on the buttons. Kind of went with the outfit there. Uh, blue to go with the whip and I did that orange just to make it more popped out and uh, I like the multicolors man. It just came out beautifully um, The back of this kind of came out a little wavy, but it kind of gives it like a like a blood type of theme I guess I don't know um, I Think when I painted this one it was kind of windy outside or it's, It still came out great. I don't care love the colors um so good stuff like that. That's one of my favorite ones. Um, I just love them all. Well, but like I said, once I get the stickers for those, they're really going to pop out. Unlike this one, it just it looks great. Now, next one is for a different controller, a uh, different console. So this is going to be a bit of a surprise. And it is the Duke. And I did a lime green with this as well. Still got to put it back together. Just wanted to show you guys. It's pretty much done. It's all dried up. And uh, kind of like a, a light blue, not a sky blue, but a little darker than a sky blue. And uh, I think it just came out great with the two-tone again. Uh, this middle part where the Xbox logo is, 
I got to clean around the edges on that. I did mask it as best as I could. But, uh, yeah, it still came out great, man. And uh, even though after it's like the paint is dried up, it, it feels great to, like, hold it. It's kind of, you know, it's not, like, rugged where, like, you're going to feel the paint. It's just very smooth. And I cleared it after I paint them. I also clear them, too, so, you know, the paint stays uh, on. And it protects the paint and it also gives a very nice shiny look so next thing i'm going to show is is the flea market pickups um, um i'm going to go through these as quick as i could um these just passing by random a booth uh you know they were saying stickers three for a dollar three for a dollar so i picked these three up for a buck uh boom i'm going to put these on my uh, little crt tv so that'll look pretty cool also picked up my uh my favorite turtle, Ninja Turtle, Raphael. And, uh, of course, Raphael is my favorite since a kid. And just something about him. I, I always liked Raphael a lot. Even though blue is my favorite color. Just, I don't know. Um, and uh, I also picked up Batman. So those three for a buck. Uh, picked this up. Different seller. Crash Tag Team Racing uh, for the PSP. Uh, got that for four dollars. I think which is a great deal. I, I do have this on a ps2. I believe So I must have been ported on the PSP as well uh, Another seller picked these two up different seller for four dollars guys and this lady is, is, is So cool man. She always hooks it up uh, crash bandicoot 3 warped uh, It's complete I believe yeah, that's the manual of course cover art and also got a Capcom Classic Collection Volume 2, which uh, I prefer Part 2 over Part 1. They're both great. It's just this one, I think, is packed with a lot more uh, better and more fun games. So, um, yeah, cool stuff like that. And uh, with that, let's bring this over here. Uh, next thing I'm going to show, I got this from a reseller, uh, Chibi Robo Ziplash, which is still brand new sealed. Picked that up for $10. Bucks. Um, you know, I think I've seen it go a lot less online, but, you know, I, I've been actually looking out for this, and I have heard um, that it is a, is a, it's a pretty fun game. Still looking out for the GameCube version, which is really expensive and hard to find, but uh, hopefully one day. Um, pick this up again uh, different seller Game Boy Color which is a Game Boy Color protector so you put your uh, handheld in there and you could carry it with that and uh, that's pretty cool never heard or seen this before um, I was just sitting on a table again it's a lady I know I was asking like you have any games this and that and uh, so I noticed this got that for six bucks so that's cool still sealed uh, pick these two up for 20 bucks uh, Pokemon fire red version and Pokemon soul silver version I didn't have these um, I'm actually looking out to get the case on this and the outer cardboard box which will be really cool so um, yeah I'm looking out for that so I picked those two Pokemon games up for 20 bucks 10 a piece and uh, try to get it you know for less but it's still worth it. It's all good. Um, so pick this up as well. Um, different seller, Metal Slug Anthology for two dollars, two bucks. I am not lying, man. I'm getting like amazing deals. The guy again. I know this guy. It was in some kind of like a CD binder folder. So I was like, "How much you want for this? You have the case?" He goes, "No, I don't have a case, but I'll give it to you for two dollars." I'm like, "All right, cool. Two bucks deal." So I got that for two bucks. I do have that sealed. I did play it, and it does work, even though it's like super scratched up or like scuffed up. But uh, yeah, it's it does work, so that's really cool. Love those uh, running gun games. Um, pick this up, guys. I had no idea or heard about this uh, of this color or this variant for forty bucks, forty dollars. I am not kidding. Um, this guy again, I know my, I go, I've been going for this, to this flea market, uh, swap meet, whatever you want to call it, or for quite a while now, for a few years now. And, you know, when you start, you know, um, uh, you know, talking to people and getting to know them and, uh, you know, be friendly with them and be kind and all that good stuff. 
they're going to give you good deals regardless. So um, I got that for 40 bucks. It's still new. Everything is in there, plasticed up. Um, it just I love that box. I love collecting for stuff like this. And I'm always looking out for more boxed items. So that was cool. So he told me that... Um, Put that bag over there. That was for the stickers. Uh, he told me he'll probably have more. I went the following week. He didn't have that, but he had a couple other variants. And this is pretty much uh, the last few things that I'm going to show that I picked up. Got all this for a hundred bucks. Uh, Legend, uh, Legends of Oz, Dorothy's Return. Again, I hadn't. Let me put this over here. I don't want that. Um, I had never seen or heard of this one. I think there's also uh, another one for the DS. Damn, these cases, man. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's, it's it's complete. Everything is in there. Um, I hope it's a good game. So I don't know. I'll try it out. We'll see. It was kind of like a bundle thing with this. So I paid, like I said, a hundred bucks for all this. So it was four things. It was this one, Legends of Oz. Um, I also picked this up, Final Fantasy 13-2. Um, uh, it's still sealed, still brand new. So that, and uh, two of these, man. Again, boxes, guys. Loving these boxes. Um, yeah. So I got Mario Kart 7. It's included, pre-installed. Um, which I have this one loose, but now I have it complete in the box. This one is pretty much complete. This one is like brand new. This one must have been like open because the plastic's done in there. A um, hundred bucks for these two boxed, and and uh, the the 3DS and a, and a Final Fantasy PS3 game. That's, that's definitely worth it. Uh, I think it was a great deal. So that was pretty much it, guys. Um, uh, give a little overview of all of the stuff that I got all my custom controllers and all of that cool stuff not a whole bunch of things but um I was happy with everything that I got and that was pretty much it so again guys uh thank you for watching and uh if you guys like what you see you know subscribe comment like and uh until next time Sam's out again guys thanks for watching have a great day